Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'm going to share with you 15 tips to consider for designing a successful website. The first thing to consider is the purpose of your website. There should be a reason why you're creating a website. And you should be clear about the purpose of your website. You should also have an idea of who your target audience is. Once you understand that, you'll be able to design the website accordingly. For example, a website for gaming will have a completely different design than a news articles website. You have to have different color schemes for these two different types of websites. A website for kids should have a completely different user interface and a user experience than that of a website for a computer science education. So always define the purpose of your website before getting started with anything else. Mobile friendly design. Smartphone users have grown a lot during the previous years. So you should definitely be ready for all the smartphone visitors to your website. There are so many screen sizes to consider because of the different smart devices like smartphones, tablets, smart TVs, laptops, desktops and more. Nobody wants to zoom in and out of a web page just to read the contents of the page. Create responsive designs which adapt to all the major screen sizes available. I do have a video on creating responsive websites. Link is in the description below. Typography Use the least amount of fonts in your website. Do not add all the fonts you like into a single website. Stick to just one font or two fonts at the most. If you use more than two fonts in your website, it will most likely break the structure of your website and uh, make it look unprofessional. If you are using two fonts, make sure that they complement each other. If you want to use free fonts, you can use Google Fonts. I do have a video on using Google Fonts. You can find the link in the description. Clean design. Do not try to overcomplicate things in your website. Make it as simple as you can. Do not try to implement all that you have learned in web designing in a single website. Use only what is needed. Sometimes just a single text element on a solid background color will be enough for a web page. White space. First off, let's make it clear that white space in design doesn't mean white color. It simply represents any blank space in your web page. It is basically the unattended area in your web page. Do not hesitate to leave a large area of your design blank. This can help you get the focus of your visitor to the most important thing in your web page. Instead of using an image as a background, you can also use a solid color as a background. Use ample padding to your elements so that the elements in your web page have space to breathe. Color scheme. Choosing a color scheme for your website is critical. You should not go around adding any random color in your website. First of all, you should come up with a primary color and then choose the colors that complement that. There are different websites and tools which can help you in choosing the colors. Coolers is a great website to generate awesome colors. Press space for different color combinations. Neil Patel has an extensive article on color schemes. You can find the link in the description. Images Images can have larger impact than what you would imagine. They are the first ones that the visitor of your website will see. So use images whenever you can in your web page. Images can help grab the attention of the visitor and it can make the user interested in reading your content. Another advantage of images is that graphical content can explain things better than a lot of text. So always try to add images in your website. With that being said, do not overuse images just for the sake of using it without any real reason. If you are looking for royalty free images, then you can take a look at websites like Pixabay, Unsplash or Pexels. Logo Professional looking logos help you build trust with your visitor. People are more likely to trust your content and of course your content needs to be good as well. So design a logo for your website or brand if you haven't already. Logo adds a lot of credibility to your website. If you already have a logo, then choose the color scheme of your website based on the logo. If you don't know how to design a logo, you can get it done by a professional graphic designer online. If you want to get started with a free alternative, then you can visit a website called Canva. It has a lot of templates which you can use to edit or create your own logo. There are many other services as well which can help you create a logo. Just do a Google search for free logo creator. Social media integration. 
Create social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for your brand or website. You can build trust and authenticity by adding your social media accounts to your website. It may even rank your website high on search engines. Loading time One of the main reasons which drives visitors out of the website is the loading time. The higher the loading time, the higher are the chances for your visitors abandoning your website. Even a one second delay in your website loading can drastically decrease your website page views. You can go to GT Metrics and check the performance of your website. It will show you detailed reasons why your website isn't having the minimum loading time. One of the main reasons affecting the loading speed of your website is the use of images with large file size. Always remember to optimize your image for web before uploading them to your web server. SSL With the rise of latest technologies and different ways to develop web applications, there's a lot more options for the bad guys to do damage to your website. So an SSL certificate is absolutely necessary for a website today. It helps you protect the information of your website from getting into the hands of a third party. You can get SSL certificates from your hosting company itself or there are other online services which provide SSL certificate for your website. With the latest version of Google Chrome, Google has made it kind of compulsory to have an SSL certificate for your website. So whenever you open a website which does not have an SSL certificate, it will display not secure before the website. Easy navigation. Your website should have a navigation menu. It should guide the visitor as to where to go next. Your website visitors should never be in any sort of confusion when they land on your website. Your navigation menu should be easily accessible from anywhere in your web page. You should have the appropriate title and the correct links. For mobile versions, you'll most probably need to have a different layout for your navigation menu. I do have a lot of videos on creating responsive navigation menus. I will leave the link of the playlist in the description below. All required pages. Your website should have all the necessary pages for a website. First of all, you should have a home page or a landing page which introduces the visitor to your website. An about page explains to the visitor who you are and why should they believe you. A contact page may be an HTML form for the user to contact you directly or you can mention an email ID or a phone number where the visitors can contact. There are other pages as well like the FAQ page, privacy policy page, blogs page, services page which you can create based on the type of your website. If you want to learn how to create a contact page, I do have a video on creating a contact page. I will leave the link in the description. Minimize pop-ups Have you ever had a bad user experience because of a lot of pop-ups in a website and you had to leave that website just for that? Yes, a lot of pop-ups in your website can drive your users away from your website. So when you design a website, make sure that you don't provide that kind of user experience to the user. Use the least amount of pop-ups. Browser compatibility Although the internet has evolved a lot and later software and hardware are being released every day, it should be noted that there are some users who are still using an old computer with an outdated browser. If you have such type of visitors, you should make some changes to your styling. You should take care of browser compatibility by adding prefixes to certain CSS rules. You can use a website called caniuse.com which helps you see which browsers support which CSS properties. So that's it for this video. I hope that these tips will help you improve your design. If you have any other tips, you can mention them in the comments below. And click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.